gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There's something missing in this entire debate. Over the course of the last 30 years, in the 1970s, if you'd have seen the real income for the top 1%, it accounted for about 9% of real income. Today, the top 1% accounts for 25% of real income. The top 400 wealthiest people in the United States of America pay a tax rate of 17%, while the fella in Youngstown, Ohio, is paying a much higher tax rate. And the sky is falling. The Republican Party wants to make all these huge decisions about how we need to fix our country. We need the wealthiest in our country to become patriots and step up the bat and help us solve this problem. Everyone here is being asked to sacrifice. The military, the middle class, the parents trying to send their kids with Pell Grants, the schools that get Title I, all being asked to sacrifice but for the top 1% of the wealthiest people in this country. It is absent from this, de this debate. It is irresponsible for us to continue this process without asking the wealthiest in the United States of America who have been blessed to live in this country to help us solve this problem. Gentlemen's time has expired. For purposes of